Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome back. Problem 9.5. The statement of problem is for the cantilever beam and loading as shown here. Determine the equation of elastic curve for portion AB of the beam. The part P is deflection at point B which is at this point clear and the slope at point B. So to for finding we have equation of elastic curve. curve which is equal to y is a function of x y is a function of x sorry y is equal to function of x and in part b it is given that deflection at point b and c part is slope at point b so let's start with the solution now you can see the loading shown on the cantilever beam there is a fixed support at point A so first of all we will find the reaction forces at point A so we will use A can beam A B C as free body diagram we will draw the free body diagram of the cantilever beam clear in order to find the unknown reactions so you can see this is the total beam clear this from this point to this point this length is L this is A at this point there is a moment MC which is given as WL square over 6 clear now at point A there is a reaction force which is equal to if you remove the, uh, the fixed support so there will be reaction force RA and there will be a bending moment MA clear so and there is a uniformly distributed load acting over length L so we will convert this distributed load into concentrated load so it will be equal to w into l and it will be acting at a distance of l by 2 so this distance will be equal to l by 2 clear now you will apply the uh, uh, equation of equilibrium that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to 0 and about force is positive so you can see there are two forces acting one is r a another is w into l so r a is upward so it will be upward minus w into l will be downward so r a will be equal to w into l there so we have found find out the reaction forces at a now we will find the reaction moment at point a so for that we will apply the second equilibrium condition that sum of all forces along about point sum of all moment about point A is equal to zero and counterclockwise moment taken as positive. So you can see that at point A this is point A. So there is a moment reaction moment acting that is clockwise so minus M A clear and there is a reaction uh, uh, moment at point C which is counterclockwise and that is uh, plus WL square over 6 and one moment is due to this concentrated load and it will be in clockwise direction which is minus W into L into L by 2 so when you calculate it this moment at point A is equal to minus 1 over 8 W into L. Now you have both the reaction force and reaction moment at point A. We will move further and apply this equation for finding the 
elastic curve so e i d square y over d x square is equal to m of x now you need the moment equation for this beam so we will uh, cut the beam at any point let we will cut the beam at this point so this distance let this distance is x clear so again i will draw the uh, three body diagram of this cut section so you can see there is a reaction force r a there is a moment at point a which is m a there is a uniformly distributed load w clear and this distance is x so when you cut the beam over there so there will be a shear force and a bending moment m clear let this point is j point clear now we will use this member we will use this is point a we will use this member aj to draw the free body diagram and we will apply the moment equation that sum of all moment about point j is equal to zero so you can see at j there is a moment m reaction moment m is applied plus due to this con uh, uniformly distributed load there will be moment because this distributed load will be converted into concentrated load which will be equal to w into x and it will be acting at the half of x by 2 there so this produces a counterclockwise so w into x into x by 2 there now due to this reaction force this reaction force there will be a movement in clockwise direction about point j so it will be minus r a into x and there is another moment reaction moment m a which is again clockwise so it will be m a equal to zero so this moment m will become equal to um, minus w x square over 2 plus r a r a is w l so w l into x and this will be when it will go there it will be plus m a is minus 1 over 8 w l clear okay 1 over uh, and okay so this is I think there is a mistake if you solve it m a so this is actually 3 so 1 over 3 w into l so this will be again 3 clear so this is equation of bending moment for the beam clear now you can put it in this equation so when you put it in this equation you will get e i into d square y over d x square is equal to minus w x square over 2 clear plus w l into x minus 1 over 3 w into l so if you integrate it you will get e i into d y by d x will be equal to minus 1 over 6 w x cube plus 1 over 2 w l x square minus 1 over 3 w l 
x plus c1 clear again integrating it again integrate it you will get e i into y is equal to minus 1 over 24 w x 4 plus 1 over 6 w l x cube minus 1 over 6 w l x square plus c2 now this uh, sorry uh, minus 1 over 3 okay so this is 1 over 24 this is this plus c1 x c1 x plus c2 here now c1 and c2 are unknown constant and we can find it by using the boundary condition so we will go back so we will apply the boundary condition at fix and so at x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 and at x is equal to 0 theta is equal to 0 clear so we will use this boundary condition in order to find c1 and c2 so by boundary condition by boundary condition what are the boundary condition i will write it the first one is that at x is equal to 0 theta is equal to 0 and the second boundary condition is at x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 so first let this is equation number 1 and this is equation number 2 so for first boundary condition at x is equal to 0 theta is equal to 0 put it in equation 1 so when you will put it in equation 1 so dy by dx will be equal to 0 so this will be equal to 0 this term will be 0 due to x is equal to 0 this will be 0 and this will be 0 and c1 will be equal to 0 c1 is equal to 0 now for boundary condition 2 for 2 at x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 so put it in equation 2 when you put it in equation 2 so y will be 0 this term will be 0 this term and again c2 will be equal to 0 there now you can put c1 and c2 in equation 1 and 2 so you will if you put c1 is equal to 0 in equation number 1 so e this equation will become equal to e i into dy by dx will be theta is equal to minus 1 over 6 w x cube plus 1 over 2 w l x square minus 1 over 3 w l x is equation of slope there and if you put c1 and c2 in equation 2 so this will become put c1 and c2 in equation 2 we will get e i into y is equal to minus 1 over 24 w x q x 4 plus 1 over 6 w l x q minus 1 over 6 w l x square plus c1 and c2 is equal to 0 so this is the equation of deflection there so if you divide ei on both sides so we can write it y is equal to 1 over 24 
E I into W X four plus one over six E I into W L X Q minus one over six E I into W L X square is equation of elastic curve you can further simplify it so if you further simplify it this y will become equal to w over 24 ei into minus x4 plus x4 plus 4LX cube minus 4L square X square. Clear? Okay. This is this one, this is this one, and this is this one. Okay. Minus x4 plus 4lx cube minus 4l square x square. Clear. Okay. So this is the required equation of elastic curve. Now we will move toward part B and the part B is that we have to find deflection at point b so at x is equal to l you can see i will show you this was x which is taken at this section so when x is equal to l we can find the deflection at point b so at x is equal to l this y b will become equal to you have to put this l x and replace it with l so when you put at x is equal to l and simplify it so this y b will be equal to w l 4 over 24 e i so this is the deflection at point b the c part is find the slope at point B which is at x is equal to L so when you put x is equal to L in this slope equation so you will get this slope theta B is equal to 0 you can put it at x is equal to L in this equation in this equation and you can solve it you will get theta B is equal to 0 at x is equal to L I hope you have enjoyed the video thank you for watching and giving your precious time